Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be like a starter kit of some sort for the drugstore. I've been getting a lot of questions from people just asking what I recommend from the drugstore for those either wanting to start a collect, from those either just starting off in makeup or for those wanting to add to their collection. Now I have normal to oily skin, but products geared toward dry skin never really I don't really see a reaction or a negative reaction in my skin. So I am able to branch out into a wide variety of products. So I have something from every category in a wide range of brands. So let's go ahead and jump in. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start in the order of which you would apply to your face. So I do have two primers and the first one is the NYX Angel Veil. This primer is more of a smoothing primer. If you have any pores, any fine lines, any kind of discoloration that you just kind of want to smooth out and give your skin a nice blank canvas, this primer is going to be perfect for that. This is just going to give you a nice smooth canvas that makeup is just going to apply absolutely beautifully to. This isn't going to leave you this isn't going to leave you matte or overly dewy. It's more of just a hydrating smoothing primer. And the next one I have is the L'Oreal Lumi. This primer I can go on and on about. I absolutely love this. This will give you the most absolute beautiful glow. Whether you are using a matte foundation, dewy foundation, it will not leave you overly glowy and it will not make you overly oily throughout the day. Like I said, I do have normal to oily skin and sometimes on a normal basis, I don't have to blot really ever, but every now and then I will find a product that just accentuates my oils to the point where I am finding myself reaching for blotting sheets throughout the day. And this product, no matter what I use it with, does not do that. So whether you're using a dewy foundation, a matte foundation, whether you set your foundation with powder or not, this is gonna look absolutely stunning. And the next products I have are foundations. They are both from L'Oreal and the first one is the L'Oreal True Match. Now you've probably heard tons and tons of people rave about this. The color selection is absolutely awesome. They actually have three categories. They have N for neutral, W for warm, and C for cool. I am more of a neutral undertone, so it is harder for me to find foundations. I am finding myself having to mix foundations more so than able to just find one shade that matches me perfectly. One of the only foundations foundations I have ever found that I've ever tried that matches me perfectly and I have mine in the shade in one soft ivory and this is more of my this is more of my true fair color when I'm not self tanned and this is more of a dewy foundation so if you are more if you're overly oily I'm not sure if you're gonna like this you may be able to get away with it if you do set if you use a mattifying primer and set it with powder but this looks absolutely stunning this is gonna give you a nice natural flawless finish and the next the next foundation I have if you have been around my channel for any amount of time and it's probably gonna come at no shock and it is the L'Oreal infallible pro matte now, if you are overly dry, I'm not sure if you're going to like this foundation. You may be able to get away with it if you use a very dewy um, primer and if you don't set it with a um, powder. So, this foundation is geared more toward oily skin, but this is going to give you the most flawless finish that lasts forever. I will re I will reach for this more than a lot of my high-end foundations just because I absolutely love the finish that it gives. Whether you set this with powder or not, you are just going to get an airbrushed finish and it, it says that it is for up to 24 hour wear. I have not tested it out for 24 hours, but I will say it. I have tried it for at least 12 and it has lasted through a 12 hour workday with no problem. I have two concealers to share with you guys. They are both from Maybelline and the first one is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I've heard that this is a dupe for the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. Now I haven't, I've never tried that concealer. This concealer is light to medium coverage, but very buildable. So I think if you put enough on, you may be able to get full coverage. It will absolutely cancel out any dark circles. But what I absolutely love this for is to brighten the face. I have mine in actually two shades. This is the shade Fair, and I also have the shade Medium. So what I like Medium for is when I am a little bit more, when I am self tan, and I like to use this to conceal any blemishes that I have. And Fair just absolutely brightens the face 
beautifully. You put this in any areas where you want to brighten under the eyes and the center of the face and this will brighten your face beautifully. And the next concealer I have is the Maybelline Age Rewind. I have mine in the shade also fair and I also like the brightening one. Now what I love this one for is to cancel out those dark circles. If you if you are someone who suffers from dark circles or you just didn't get enough sleep, use this and those babies are good to go. I do find that both of these concealers do crease on me. However, a lot of conceal I haven't really tried any concealers that don't, but once I set them with powder, they are not going anywhere. There are two setting powders from the drugstore that I absolutely love. One is a loose powder and one is a pressed powder. I don't have the loose powder to share with you guys because I actually have used it all up, but it is the Cody Airspun which I'm sure you guys have heard many, many YouTubers rave about, and for good reason. It's absolutely amazing. It will leave you with just a nice airbrushed finish, um, but for those who don't like loose powders, I do have a pressed powder, and it is the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Powder. Whenever I am using a foundation that's a little bit light for me, I will go in with this to set it just to give me a little bit extra coverage up the face. This will not leave you cakey. This will not leave you powder. You can put layers and layers of this on and you will not look cakey at all. And I do have two bronzers as well. And the first one is the Physicians Formula Bronze Booster. I do have mine in the shade Medium Dark. And this is the shade. And this bronzer is the absolute best bronzer I have ever used from the drugstore. I do find that this is a dupe for the Hula bronzer. And this is just the absolute best shade to, to not only bronze, but also contour. This is, this is not orange whatsoever. It just leaves your skin looking... It just leaves your skin looking sun-kissed and just gives you the perfect glow, whether you're a fan or you have a little bit of a tan. And the next bronzer I have is the Rimmel Natural Bronzer. I do have mine in the shade 021 Sunlight, and it is waterproof. So I love this when I am at my darkest. It is a little bit darker, and it does have more of a orangey undertone. So you are going to want to use a lighter hand with this than with the Physicians. Um, but all in all, this is an absolute amazing bronzer that will last all day, and it is waterproof. I have two two blushes as well, and the first one is the Milani Baked Blushes. I do have mine in the shade Luminoso. These blushes are just going to give your cheeks the most beautiful glow. They're more of a, because they're baked, they're also going to have like little specks of glitter in them but the glitter the way that the glitter shows up on the face is like a smooth you won't have chunks of glitter falling out on your face it's more of just like a sheen almost so this is the shade luminoso which is also a cult favorite here on youtube and for good reason because it is absolutely beautiful they're not powdery they're not chunky they just go on absolutely they just go on very smooth and last really long time. Next blush I have is the Wet n Wild. I have the shade Mellow Wine. This is more from their older collection, but, but any of the Wet n Wild blushes, you are not going to be disappointed. They are so pigmented, so you are going to want to use a lighter hand with these, but once they're on your cheeks, they are not going anywhere. I do have two highlighters from the drugstore that I absolutely love, and I love them both for two totally different reasons. So the first one is probably going to also come as no shock, and it is the Essence Highlighter in 01, I'm sorry, in 10 Be My Highlight. This highlight is going to give you more of a glow from within. This is not going to give you that big beaming J-Lo highlight. This is more going to give you just a soft, subtle, daytime, day-to-day -day glow. Now, this is very buildable, so you can build it up, but it's never going to look like bam in your face. This is just, this is just going to give you a nice, beautiful, soft glow. And now, if you're looking for a bam in your face J-Lo highlight, then you're going to want to pick up the Physicians Formula Shimmer Bricks. I have mine in the shade Miami Strip. I'll open it. I have mine in the now what I love about this highlighter is you do have an array of colors leading from dark to light. So you, you do have a more bronzy shade that goes lighter and lighter into golden shades. And then the very bottom one is more of a pink tone highlight. So what you can do with this is you can either swirl them all together, which I like to do, or you can even use them individually. I've even used these as eyeshadows before and they just look absolutely beautiful. You, you add a setting spray to this and I mean, 
this is absolutely comparable to an Anastasia or a Becca highlight. I do have quite a few lip products. I do have some I have some good old fashioned regular lipsticks and I have two brands. The first one the first ones are from Maybelline and I want to say these are from the Color Sensational line but I could be wrong. So I do have two different kinds. One is the matte and one is the regular. And in the regular I do have Darling Nude and it's just a beautiful everyday nude color. And the second shade that I have is Lust for Blush. And this is just a rosy pink color. Now what I love about these lipsticks are they are so creamy, they are so long lasting, they are going to transfer, even the matte ones are not going to dry down to a flat matte. They're not like a liquid lipstick, so it it's almost like a cream matte, like it's going to... It's going to dry down to a matte, but it's going to have almost like a sheen over it. But they are so comfortable and so hydrating on the lips. And the other brand that I have is from Milani. And it is just their, I don't know, I'm not sure what the, if there's a certain line that these, but it's just the ones in the gold tube with the shade at the bottom. Now this shade is 43 Pretty Natural. And it's also just more of a rosy, of a rosy nude color. But I also have one of one of my all-time favorites is actually number 69 Matte Beauty. And this is a matte color. And I did speak about this in another video. And I mentioned that when I am at my fairest, this looks straight up brown on me. But it is not like a muddy brown. This is more of like just a rich chocolatey just goodness. These are absolutely amazing. Now these will not transfer. The regular lipsticks they do because like I said they're just a regular cream formula. But the matte ones, I went to dinner with this and wore this from, I don't know, like 7 6.30, 7 o'clock when I put it on, and by 10.30, after eating, drinking, and talking for about three, three and a half hours, it was still on. And I didn't have that weird, crusty look, um, like the butthole lip that you usually get. These, I absolutely 100% recommend these. These are absolutely amazing. I do have a liquid lipstick as well, and it is the new Wet n Wild Cat Suit Lipsticks. I did try the Jordana liquid lipsticks, and those were I could not wear those. Within 20 minutes of having them on, they just, they emphasized every crack. They sunk in every fine line in my lips and they were just so drying to the point to where it was painful. These are so comfortable. They are so long lasting. They do not transfer. And then again, these will not leave you with that weird butthole lip thing. I find that these are very comparable to the Sephora matte um, lip cream stains. The, one, the ones in these this packaging, I do find that these are very comparable to them. They're just, they are a tad bit more drawing than the Sephora ones, but for $5 from the drugstore, I mean, these are amazing. And the lip, the lip gloss that I have is the good old NYX Butter Gloss. I have mine in the shade Creme Brulee, and this is just a beautiful everyday gloss that you can just either pop on by itself over a lip liner and run out the door. They are very, very glossy and very, very pigmented. Definitely my favorite gloss from the drugstore. And the rest of the products that I have are more geared toward the eyes. So I'll start off with eyebrows. And my absolute favorite, and I lost the cap, so don't judge me. My absolute favorite um, brow pencil is the L'Oreal Brow Stylus. I do find that this is very comparable to the NYX Micro Brow. And that is also my favorite. But again, I'm out of that one as well. So I have this one on hand. I have been using this one for about a month and a half. And it's still going strong. I still have plenty. Well, maybe not plenty, but I do still. I do still have a good bit of product left. Um, it does come with a spoolie. The formula is amazing. It's the perfect wax. It blends out. It blends out beautifully. So if you do apply a little bit too much and you need to blend it out, this like a dream. And to set it, I do use the L'Oreal Brow Style, the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Plumper, and it. I have mine in the shade medium to dark, and it's just like the Benefit Gimme Brow. It does have a little brush on the end that when you Run it through your brows, it will fill in the sparse areas with any fibers. And once you put this on your brows, they're not going anywhere. I do have two mascaras, and the first one is the Maybelline Lash Sensational. I absolutely love this mascara for 
volume, length, this will give you everything that you need. I do not find that it clumps. I do not find that it flakes. This is just absolutely amazing. It does have a wand like the Benefit Roller Lash where it dips in the middle, but I absolutely love this. This is definitely one of my favorite ma drugstore mascaras of all time. The mascara that I absolutely love is the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black, and I absolutely love this for the lower lash line and also to give me volume. Now, you'll see that the wand on this is a bit fatter, and that is what is gonna give you just the volume in your lashes. You curl your lashes, plump this on. If you have very sparse lashes and you're really not looking for length, this won't really give you length, but it will give you volume. So if that's what you're looking for, and this is so, so black, definitely the blackest formula I've ever. I do have one eyeliner. It is the NYX Matte Liquid Liner, and this is so black. I mean, look at that. That is one swipe. So black, it's very matte, and this lasts forever. So not really much to say about this. It is a cult favorite too on here, here on YouTube, and for good reason. It's just a really, really good liquid liner. The brush is very small, so it's easy to work with if you want to do a wing, if you just want to hide the band of any lashes, or even just do a quick very thin line this will work for everything and i'm um, i know a lot of i know a lot of people don't wear lashes but for those who are looking to just break into lashes or who want to who want to know the easiest most natural lash to start off with i absolutely love the ardell 110s and i'm not sure if you're going to be able to see them but as you can tell I'm on my, I did buy the big pack and I am on my last pair. These are the lashes that I started off with and I tried a lot of different ones. These are by far my favorite band still, even from the high end lashes that I've tried. I absolutely love the band on these. They're very flexible, very easy to work with. Even if you have to cut them, I find that these are the easiest to do that with. I actually wore these shopping about two weeks ago with my nieces and it wasn't until about halfway through the day before she asked me if I had on false lashes. That's how natural these are. So they so these are just gonna open up your eyes, make them look bigger without being too dramatic. So this is a really good everyday lash. So finding drugstore eyeshadows are really hit and miss, but the two brands that I found that have more hits than misses, the first one is Wet n Wild Wet n Wild, and this is just one of their um, eyeshadow, this is just one of their, their little palettes. I have mine in the shade Poster Child, and this is more of one that you're gonna wanna grab if you want a pop of color. It has a lot of pinks, blues, greens, it has a yellow and a matte, I'm sorry, it has a yellow and a black, but the black does have a little bit of shimmer in it, and these are absolutely amazing. They do have the um, quads, I believe. They have four shadows as well, Wet n Wild, and most of their palettes are just absolutely amazing. You can't really go wrong with the Wet n Wild eyeshadow. And another palette that I love that is that I find is just absolutely amazing about as well is Makeup Revolution. I have my palette. It is the Salvation Palette Iconic Pro One. I'm not really sure what that means, but these are these are the shadows. And this I have heard is a dupe for the Lorac Pro palette. So let me grab that one for you. So this is the Lorac Pro Palette, and this. Oh. So this is the Lorac Pro Palette, and this is the Makeup Revolution. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to get both of them in the. So as you can see, very very similar shadows. The only difference is I do find that the when I do a look with the Lorac Pro, it does come out a little bit prettier, but it is more of a higher end. Um, it is more of a higher end eyeshadow palette, so it is going to be a little bit more blendable, a little bit more pigmented, but for the price, the Makeup Revolution, I do have about four of these palettes, and I love every single one of them. You cannot go wrong for the price of these palettes and the, the quality of them. These are absolutely amazing. So there are a lot of products online that are drugstore priced that are really affordable as well. But I just wanted to include products that you can just run out to Ulta, Walgreens, CVS and just pick up if you're in a pinch or if you need a quick lipstick or mascara, you could just go and grab it. Um, not something that you had to order and then wait for it to come in. So 
These are the products that I absolutely love. I, I use on a daily basis, regular basis, and they're all very affordable. All right, guys, so that is it for this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed. If you use any of these products or if there's anything you would like to try out, let me know down below. Um, if you would like me to do a, a if you like me to do a high-end version of this, also let me know. I could absolutely do that for you guys as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video.